Welcome to the course Spring Boot. This is lecture 11, Adding Cities API. So, in this lecture, uh, what we want, uh, we want to add Cities API as well, uh, as we have done for states, uh, and we are going to finish our rest of the methods to pull the data from uh, state repository, uh, which is basically pointing to the database, Apache Derby uh, embedded database and we want to get rid of this uh, list that we have built uh, in our state service class. Uh, so, what I want uh, from you guys is to follow the same pattern and make a cities APIs as well. Uh, I will be building it offline and in the next lecture I will just walk through that what I have done, but this is kind of work uh, which will give you a confidence if you will do it by yourself. So, I will recommend uh, to do the cities APIs by yourself, it is going to be the same thing uh, and definitely in the next lecture I will walk you through what I have done. So, let us begin with this one and let us fix these two other methods that we left in our last lecture. So, uh, to get rid of this array list, this array list has been used in a get state from state code method and uh, update state and delete state method. So, these are the three methods that we are going to refactor. Uh, to get state with a state code, uh, instead of returning states dot stream, uh, what we want is we want to find by id. So, uh, which is state code, which is the identity element in our table. So, what I am going to do is I am going to get rid of this whole code and state, I am going to use my state repository and see if I have some method to work with. And I have find all font find all by id, find by id, and it is taking string parameter which is going to be our id, which is a state id. So, I will select this method find by id and pass the state code which is our identity column in our table and it is going to give me back. So, this is the state code uh, we are returning by id. Uh, it errors out because it needs a return type of a optional state because this method might not return something. So, this is implementation. So, just use the default fix and add a optional state um, optional uh, as a return type. Uh, let us move forward. So, this method is done. Uh, this method is updating state. Uh, let us comment this out and we want to update a state. We have a state object on the basis of state code. We have state code as well. So, uh, let us check what we have in our state repository to do this task. State repository dot we have to save the data basically. So, we have the save, save all and save entity is taking uh, uh, the entity which is our state object. So, let us select this and just pass the state entity. So, you might be wondering why we are not using state code because uh, we do not need a state code. Uh, because what JPA does is it knows that whenever there is a, a state being passed and update method update method has been called, it will automatically update and replace this uh, state object which has been passed with the existing one. And if it is not existing on the basis of ID, then uh, it's going to create a new record automatically. So we still need to pass it to the method, but uh, JPA is not. Uh, gonna consume it in this method and it will automatically map to the state code and replace that state uh, which is having the state code with this new object that we have passed. So, you can see it is much easier code for updating a state uh, what we have done before as compared to uh, what we are doing now is much easier. Uh, same as uh, with delete state, let us comment it out uh, this one. 
and see what state repository has got for us. So, state repository dot delete entity or delete all or delete by id. So, definitely we are passing a state code. So, we want a string parameter to be passed by and we want to delete by id. So, we are going to pass the state code uh, as a id and this is going to delete our uh, state object. So, you can see we have got um, rid of this states list that we are building from all of our methods. So, we do not need this anymore. So, I can just delete this now and our project should, project should still run and should still save and perform all the operations that we have defined. Uh, the only difference will be uh, the data is saved on a local embedded database instead of um, defining it hard coded. So, let us test this. So, we have done everything and now let us run this project and see what we got in here. Oh, we got an error in here, it is the same error. So, we need to make it as an optional state uh, as a return type for controller as well. So, um, though it has started does not matter, but I will just stop it and run it again. Here is our spring application and this spring application has started a new instance of uh, Apache Derby database. Our database is completely empty and our project is running on 8080. So, let us go to the postman and create some data and then test it. So, our postman is loading right now and what I am going to do is I am going to hit on I do not need this. I am going to hit on the states uh, a get request and we will be getting back 200 ok, but with empty parameters because there are no states right now. And uh, just close this and what we are going to do is now we will create a state. So, we will be doing a post request on states URL with body parameter of Georgia. This is JSON, which is a raw JSON object we are sending. We have set the content type to application JSON and we are going to send it to our project and we got the 200 OK response, but obvious this is post. So, we are not going to get anything return back, but we can test it by giving a get request. We got the state charge here. Similarly, let us uh, create some more data instead of Georgia. Let us make Florida. So, we should have Florida as a new state because this is a post request. Uh, Let us create some more um, so that we can test delete and update as well. So, Alabama and just post it, uh, put a send request and you see Georgia, Florida and Alabama. Now, let us test um, get by ID. So, what is our URL for get by id is in controller and we need to pass the state code. So, you remember the state code um, that we have passed in our postman is G A F L and Alabama F A L. So, if you are going to pass uh, G A, we should get the state Georgia and its associated properties. If we are going to hit Florida F L, we will be getting back Florida. So, this is working fine. Uh, now, test the next method, which is a post method, which we have already did because um, our database was empty and now we have three states. So, which was the result of post request. Uh, we are left with put and delete. So, let us make a put request and on state slash id because we need to pass a id that this florida state needs to be updated and i will just 
give the state name I will modify the data for state name uh, need this uh, let's close this and now make a put request on state slash Florida and we're gonna give the code of Florida and state name is Florida updated state so to show you one more time what is happening I am going to do the get request uh, to all the states and let us make a get request to show you what is going on. So we have Georgia, Florida, Alabama and we want to update Alabama sorry Florida with the new name Florida updated state. So you are going to make a put request on state slash Florida we want to replace the Florida object we got 200 ok and now make a get request the Florida state name should be updated here is the updated value Florida updated state uh, notice the delete um, for delete you will just make delete request uh, I'll just copy the same URL and for delete request we need to pass again the state code which is Florida uh, we want to delete the state Florida from our list uh, we don't want this bad data so we will just delete this resource from here uh, we don't need anything else we don't pass any body parameter or anything you can check back that in application that we just put a delete request and we just pass the state code and the application should delete uh, the respective state from our list so let's go back to postman and uh, send the delete request status 200 ok obviously we will not get any response because it was return type of void but from our list the Florida should have been gone so let's make a get request and see if it is gone yes so Florida has been deleted from our list so this is it guys uh, I would recommend you to please go and uh, make cities APIs by yourself uh, in the next lecture I will just uh, build it by myself and will walk through that what I have done and then we will work further to relate cities with states uh, a state can have so many cities uh, just to let you know in, in the cities uh, we will be having a separate city ID uh, which will be having a state as a foreign key so state code is a uh, primary key in state table and in uh, cities table that complete state will act as a foreign key. So just think a little bit about it that how you will design it uh, how one to many relationship is um, evolved in there that one state can have many cities uh, it is just brainstorming uh, it gives you uh, motivation to think uh, and design solutions. So see you guys in the next lecture.